Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at the run around forehand this week, one of my favorite shots. Um, today I just want to break down the footwork that we utilize to hit this shot well. A couple ways I'm seeing this footwork done wrong at the club level. And the first would be just that shuffle step. A lot of you guys and girls out there see this ball to the backhand and you're just shuffle stepping over here. And the main issue there is that it's just a little too slow and we're trying to be explosive when we hit this forehand. All right, the other way, and this, this really is the way that should never ever be used, and that's where we get turned completely sideways and we're backpedaling. I think that makes sense to a lot of you that that is the slowest way for us to move. And for a lot of you out there, it's, it's almost an imbalanced feeling. You almost feel like you could fall over when you're backpedaling too far down the court. So the way I wanna see you guys moving for the run around forehand is utilizing a crossover step on that very first move. So when I know I wanna to go to my left, I'm gonna take that right leg and cross it behind. And you guys could see how much ground I covered right there away from the center of the court with one crossover step. At that point, if I gotta go a little farther, then I might tack on a shuffle or two to really set myself well. But that crossover step is the pivotal move in hitting a great run around forehand. All right, so in, in full speed without seeing the ball yet, I come off that split step, it's behind, and then I'm there and I feel like I got almost to the alley as quickly as I possibly can. And as a pretty tall guy, that's not as fast as some of you out there, but for me, it feels pretty good. Now, if the ball that I'm gonna run around is actually a little bit shorter up in the court up here, this is a little more underutilized, but it's a great move to make, is for that ball that I'm gonna run around that's a little shorter, that crossover step's actually gonna come in front and now from there, I can shuffle once or twice and get set much farther inside the baseline if it's a more attackable ball. But either way, whether the ball's inside or still keeping me behind the baseline, a crossover step is really, really important. So let's take a look at a couple swings here. You guys will really pay attention to that first step coming off my split. See that one again. All right, one thing I'm also kind of forgetting to remind you guys of is the upper body. As I make that crossover step, notice that the upper body has an easy time turning to the side I'm hitting from. That's really, really important. All right, now let's take a look at a couple of those short ones where that crossover step comes inside that left leg, kind of cuts me in. Love that shot. Regardless of whether I'm deep or short, have to utilize that crossover step to be effective with the run around forehand. We're gonna do a ton more videos on this this week, looking at how to swing, where to target, all that good stuff with the run around, but for now, go out and practice that footwork especially that first step, okay? So I hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those great as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon.